So dry funding means after three days. This is the first rule. Every refinance of primary will always be happening in the dry funding, right? Now, in the US, there are two types of states in the case of funding. Some states are dry funding. Some states are wet funding. So what are dry funding? Right, you can go to Google, just write the dry funding, US dry funding states. You will get a list of dry funding. Go to Google, uh, you know, write, type the uh, US wet funding states. You will get the list of wet funding states, right? So anyone who wanted to take this initiative, please, after this class, go to Google and find the list. You will get the dry funding and wet funding state name you know, on the same page. Share it on the group, okay? So the, the, those are now dry fund. What we need to understand here, dry funding means after three days, state had made the rule. No, not only primary, every, every, you know, transaction, whether it's a purchase, refinance of investment or purchase of secondary home, whatever the transaction in our state, we will always fund the loan after three days. But that doesn't mean that uh, other people who are, you know, refinancing investment or purchasing primary, they will also get this right to cancel. No. Once they sign the note, even if their funding will be done after three days, they will not get this right to cancel. They cannot cancel. The only primary property refinancer, they will get the right to cancel the, when it yeah. comes to wet funding, Wet funding is going to be on the same day for every property. But federal rule for three days on the primary that need to be maintained, that, that need to be applied here also. Wet funding means state is allowing that, okay, you can do the wet funding, but not for primary residents. That could not happen. That will happen only dry funding everywhere throughout the US. Are we good with dry and wet funding? Okay, so I can ask the questions, right? Everything is clear, so I should ask now. Okay, so what we have covered so far? Origination, right? Then processing. Then underwriting. After underwriting, closing. And then funding. So here we originated the loan, we processed the loan, we underwritten the loan, we closed the loan and then we fund the loan. Means borrower took the money, goes home, living happily, right? This portion or these are the steps which are called primary market, right? This portion is called primary market. Why I'm saying that primary market? Because here in these steps, you can make changes, right? How make the changes? Let's say loan is closed, how we can make the changes? If it is going to be a dry funding, what will happen? What is going to happen means closer, got signed all the documents and closer will send that will send that file back to the lender's office now lender's office they are going to check all the documents is there any document that remained behind got skipped from signature any document which shows you know, something different they still have a chance Right before the funding happens, they can still ask the borrower to come again and sign this document, or there is some correction that needs to be done. There is still a cushion. I mean, there is a gap of three days. So lender always like the dry funding. Whereas borrower, because what happens, you know, until until the money has been transferred or the uh, funds have been disbursed, borrower will come to the lender's office or to the attorney's office on a single call. The money is not yet disbursed. They need to go. They will run to the attorney's office or the lender office. 
but as soon as money is disbursed is there bar is there any borrower who will come on the first call to lender office they need to be chased you know any and like any sometimes if, even after taking the loan sometimes bank tell, tells me that yeah i need to go to bank for some okay okay i will come tomorrow i i'm out of the station at that because loan is already done i'm living in my property it's not my headache it's bank problem and finally they will come to my home and will will get or will share all the information that they wanted to share and even sometimes i will you know not be giving them time i will not be meeting them at my home i am in the office or somewhere else so that is why so dry funding is always liked by the lenders because they have three days they can check all other documents they revise they can revise all the documents but wet funding is always liked by the borrowers as soon as you close the loan you wanted to get paid now give me the money and give me the key and i will be happy i don't want to give you more documentation right so everyone want like borrower like the wet funding lenders like the dry funding sure okay. then even why i say it is the primary market because origination processing underwriting closing till this time whatever happens so that is called a live processing live underwriting closing is obviously live origination is also live so here file is live right file is file has the live file is live live means we can make changes you are working as a processor you are working as originator or you want to become underwriter or you might want to become closer or closer want to become underwriter every thing because we are all living human being what why we are called living because we can change we change every day we change every second we make changes we apply changes if we will not be changes what will happen if we will not be able to change what is going people are going to call us dead people right no change means that he is stuck somewhere she is stuck somewhere they are not changing not even a bit right those are dead dead never change right they cannot apply change they cannot make change so till this point we can make changes to file previously borrower applied 100000 now he wanted to apply 150 we can apply we will see whether he can get approved or not he applied for 150 now he wanted to go for 125 we can make changes right so we can make changes till this point once file is closed and funded can we make changes no file is dead here now file will go to the secondary market it is called secondary market whatever going to happen it will happen in the secondary market but re remember we can we cannot change anything now what what going to happen only the post mortem that we can do we can audit file we can re underwrite file re underwrite means we can re audit the file we are going to service the file we are we can add these file to the pools we can sell it we can purchase it what we cannot do we cannot change even a one figure even a one dollar amount in this file because it is already closed it is already funded are you are you guys getting what i am trying to say here are you guys with me it's yes sir i'm feeling a sound of sleeping snoring hopefully no one is sleeping it's very interesting topic right yes funding okay now loan has been given now what what is going to happen next after funding the next is going to be shipping or it is also called investor delivery investor delivery so see there are different type of shipping that take place first let's call discuss the shipping what happens in shipping shipping is name itself telling us something is being shipped to the different location one location to different location but are what what location is is there anyone who wanted to share what is shipping Yes, yes, yes. Tell me. Let's say there are two types of shipping. One is internal. One is external.